Hello, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma. I'm brought to you by TLC. And um, I haven't been on for a couple of days because, as you know, my daughter's been sick. She's going home Sunday, and, you know, we'll visit. She lives down the road from me, so she's not that far. But it's been... I don't know how it's been. I'm just tired. But I just thought I would come and chit-chat with you for a minute, tell everybody how much, how glad I am that they, um, you know, prayed for her. Behind me is all of my, in that middle shelf right there, all of my spices, okay? And then down in the bottom shelf is my flour and sugar, and then up above is my peas and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm catching a cold, too, on, in spite of everything. And the reason why I did it that way is because when I had the stroke, I had the shelves up above the um, the cabinet up above the stove, and I would reach up in there. But sometimes it's difficult for me to reach. And then so I put them all out, and then I didn't realize I had that many. But I do, and I use most of them. I think maybe one or two I haven't used, but eventually they'll get used. Um, I just wanted to come to you because I missed all you guys. You know what I mean? And um, shout out to No Guts, No Glory, and Teresa Ree, you know, and to Modiva and everybody else, okay? Can't think of everybody. You know, No Guts, No Glory said something. So when you start getting, I've got now, I haven't been on long, but I've got over 100, two, I think 230 subscribers. And so when you get that many subscribers, well, for me, okay, because, you know, I was a teacher and everything, you know, when you get students and stuff like that, I have always told my students, I will never remember your name, but I will remember your face. Well, this is a little bit different. But I just really just needed to say hi, and I just needed to talk to everybody because I missed everybody. You know, I missed the comments. I miss just, I don't know, I never thought I would, but I really do miss YouTube. I really do. It's a good outlet for me. I mean, you know, you talk about things and you talk to people about things. And then you find out that we have a common thread. I mean, you know, um, I have sicknesses. No Guts, No Glory has sicknesses. Risa Ree, who is simply beautiful, has, a, you know, back problems and things like that. We all have our problems, but yet we do things and we thrive to do things and we make it known that we have these problems but it doesn't keep us down and that to me says a lot in volume because you know it makes me and everybody else that's on you I guess want to go on no matter what the thing is what no matter what the test is um and we're going to be tested that's for sure okay you know while God gives us things and stuff like that he still tests us I don't care what anybody says and the thing is, you know, to be able to pass the test and be able to understand even through, even in all the obstacles, even when I had the stroke and stuff, I just believed in him. I just kept my eye on him. So having said that, you know, I'm not going to be before you long because I don't have a hall. And I've got art projects up the yin-yang. We finally started working on the shed today. Girl came and made two trips and pulled the stuff out. And probably I could probably sell it, but I just want to get it out so I can have a place to work and, and do some things. And I kind of need to be with the house. And then a friend of mine is having a big barn sale. And we were talking back and forth on Facebook. And I realized that I saw a kiln in the picture. So I said, hey. You know, do you have a small kiln? And she said, yeah, I do. But it needs a piece to it. She said, but it doesn't cost anything to fix. So I Facebooked her back and said, well, how much do you want for it? She told me. I thought, well, how that's reasonable. But um, <clears throat> I'll, I have, she hasn't emailed me back yet. So when she does, you know, I'm going to try to get that small kiln from her. But anyway, you know, I mean, moving right along. I'm moving at a brisk pace. Yeah, right. I'm doing the Mississippi, Mississippi slew foot. You know what that is? Limp and go. Limp and go. But I'm going. Yes, I am. And then I didn't do much shopping at all this week. I went Monday, I think, to Joanne Fabric just to get some earring backs. But other than that, I haven't done much shopping. But 
I think I'll do a Dollar Tree haul probably Wednesday because I miss Dollar Tree. But so much has been going on here with my daughter and just trying to get things done in the shed and stuff like that, you know. And she still hasn't had her, oper her operation yet. She won't have that till around the 24th. So pray for her. But, you know, she's feeling a whole lot better. I think she just needed her mother. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how grown you are. I don't have care how much money you have. I just don't care. There were just some days when you need your mother. And although my mother is gone, trust me when I tell you, there's not a moment or a day that goes by that I don't miss her. My father, too. They were two good people. They raised us right. They sent all of us to school. You know, a couple of us didn't go to college. One stayed in the Navy. You know, made a life's career out of that. So he got all of his college from, I guess, his training from the Navy. He was some kind of computer specialist or something now. One was a principal, but that doesn't even matter. We were good people. Okay. We gave our mother problems, no doubt. Well, my brothers were grown by the time I got here. But we gave my mother problems, no doubt. But, you know, even when my father died, my brothers were grown. So, you know, that was kind of comical. My brothers were the best brothers for older brothers because most of them had kids my age. And they were the best brothers until I started dating. Then I saw things come out of them that I never knew they had in them. But that's a conversation for another time. And I guess I need to tell some of the stories because, you know what I mean, I write, and I don't really write about me. I write about herbs and other things like that. But, you know, maybe I need to write some of the stories because they were really funny. Because, I mean, they would show up places and when I had a date with somebody or I would have a date, the date would get at the house and then he would turn around and go home. Because my brothers told him to. It was it was something that was it, <coughs> it was like out of a <coughs> excuse me. It was like out of a um a story page, but nonetheless it wasn't a story. But I will tell you about it. Well I'm gonna go take some cold medicine and see if I can had this, like, first it was, it started with sneezing, then it started with, and I got rid of that. Then it started with scratchy throat, and I got rid of that. Now it was a cough. It just doesn't want to go away. And I guess it's allergies, I guess, I don't know, but when I was tested for allergies, you know, there was really nothing wrong with me, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to do what I got to do. All right, so I love you all. God bless you all, and I hope to see you Sunday night. But until then, take care of yourself. Know that God loves you. All right. Bye-bye.